It was a great moment for astronomers when the German-made Sophia telescope landed in the U.S. Now the two-and-a-half-meter, 17-ton instrument could finally be installed in this refurbished jumbo jet. SOFIA stands for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. The former passenger area is filled with computer consoles for controlling the telescope of this flying stargazing station. Up at an altitude of 15 kilometers, SOFIA has a clear view, unhindered by the Earth's atmosphere. The telescope measures the infrared radiation from clouds of molecular gas and dust and observes how the dense clouds give birth to stars and solar systems. The formation of stars is extremely difficult to observe as it takes place inside the masses of cosmic dust. The dust shields the light coming from the stars. The clouds are so cold that they don't emit light in the visible part of the spectrum. These clouds are opaque in the optical part of the spectrum. All you see is the surface. But with infrared light, you can see deep inside them. That helps us understand the details of star formation and how our own solar system and the Earth were formed. The formation processes can't be seen from lower down near the Earth's surface, as the infrared radiation is absorbed by water vapor in the atmosphere. Space-based observatories like the Spitzer Space Telescope can pick up the infrared radiation from young stars, but they have to be cooled down with liquid helium. Once the coolant is used up after a few years, the telescopes are blind. Sophia doesn't face such problems. The telescope returns to the ground after every mission where it can be repaired, given new coolant, and upgraded with cutting-edge instrumentation. One major challenge its designers had to meet was to devise the unique mount holding the telescope. A system of gyroscopes and special motors automatically compensates for air turbulence. Special bearings prevent vibrations from the plane from disturbing the measurements. Another problem is that the telescope can only rotate to a limited degree in the fuselage. That means the airplane has to be steered to keep it pointing at the right region of space. When the telescope was tried out for the first time, the 747 aircraft stayed on the ground. Then, numerous test flights were carried out, one of which produced pictures like this one. On the left is Jupiter as we see it through ground-based telescopes. On the right is Sophia's view through the planet's cloudy atmosphere. The light-colored spots indicate deep, warm regions. In November, Sophia sets off on its first scientific mission. Thanks to its unique design, it may be exploring the skies for the next 20 years.